Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for attending my presentation. Uh, before I start, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, of course, as you know, my, uh, I'm Sam, 25 years old. I'm still single, but coming <laughs> so, I, I have been studying in CNC for three months. Uh, now, I have only five days left. You know what? When I, when I first arrived here, I couldn't speak English well. Uh, even making a simple sentence was quite difficult. But now, I can at least express my ideas. My tutors and friends have helped me in a lot of way, ways. And I want to thank them for all the things they have done for me. Now, may I start my presentation? For the past two months, I have attended many presentations. Most students chose two topics associated with their major or their skills. For me, it was a little difficult to understand what their presentations were all about, since we all have different majors. But I think their major was, sorry, their presentations were very good. So since I am Sam, I want, my, I want to make my presentation a little different, but in a way that all of you would remember. My topic is very simple, but before, before I begin, I'd, I'd like to ask you a question. Daniel? Have you, have you been to Gigantes? <laughs> How about you, Marshall? Marshall? No. Everything <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> the main reason why I chose this topic is that most of you haven't been there and are not familiar with the place. So I'll be your tour guide and I'll tell you about the things that this fantastic little island cannot work. So let's start. This is how you can reach the island of Gigantes. Mark A indicates a little city, and Mark B indicates Gigantes. First, you have to take a van, and it will take you 2 hours and 30 minutes to reach the port. Second, you need to sail in a small ferry, and it will also take you around 2 hours and 30 minutes to, to, to reach the island. So, the entire time is about 5 hours. Do you think it's boring? Yes. Yes, yes. yes it's definitely boring. And I, I can see it in your face right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, you will change your mind after seeing this picture. See? You can see a paradise on earth, clear skies and blue ocean. What else would you ask for? This is the house where I stay. Why? I really, I really won't forget the place since I could take a rest conveniently. <laughs> <laughs> and the owner of the house generously offered us a lot of seafood, uh, like seashells, crabs, and scallops. You can eat a lot of seafood in Gigantes. If you want to go there, I can give you the contact number. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only lighthouse in Gigantes. When you reach the top, you can see spectacular scenes like this. It is impossible <laughs> to see the bottom of the ocean and this. <laughs>